Hello everyone, let's continue and do the rest part of the basic cluster configuration. In the last lecture, we have simply installed the packages for the cluster and also, you know, add the service for the HA cluster in the firewall and start the service. So few steps we have, you know, done it in the last lecture. So now, you know, once you install the, you know, packages for the cluster, you will observe that a user that is HA cluster will be created on all the nodes. So once you install the package, if you'll go here in ATC password and if you'll grab for HA cluster, you will see that a user, a system user that is created on all the nodes, right? And uh, I need to set a password for this user HA cluster and that would be common for all the nodes. So the command is echo redhead, I am setting a password redhead and uh, this pass WD std in and my user is HA cluster. So changing password for user HA cluster has been successfully done now. The next step is that you know the service that is PCSD which is running on all the nodes it requires you know all the cluster nodes to get authenticated with user HA cluster and password that we have set rated. So for that we have to authenticate all the nodes. So the command is you know PCS cluster auth and I need to type all the node like node a dot example dot com node b dot example dot com and my last node is that is node c dot example dot com and I need to mention the same user that is my HA cluster and hyphen p is for the password I'm re check the command that is PCS cluster auth node A, node B and node C user HA cluster and password. So it has been authorized from all the nodes now. The next step is you know I need to you know configure the cluster or we can say the setup the cluster. So for that we have the command PCS cluster setup command which can be used to you know create the cluster we can say that. So the command is, you know, PCS cluster and uh, setup hyphen hyphen is start and uh, the name of my cluster, I can give any name. I'm giving cluster zero and all the node name. That is node a dot example dot com node b dot example dot com node c dot example dot com and uh, I'm using hyphen hyphen force because I'm keep on you know creating cluster on the same servers again and again just for the testing purpose so if you are doing it on a fresh machine so it is not required to use hyphen hyphen force option so it started you know destroying all the nodes which was really created now the cluster is creating now It will take some time here. Now you know if you'll take the reboot of any you know node cluster node. So what will happen? It will not automatically join the cluster again. So to make it you know automatically join the cluster, we have to enable it. So by default, it is not going to you know join the cluster. If you are going to you know reboot any of the you know cluster node. So to make it you know enable so that it will automatically join the cluster any of the nodes is going if it is getting reboot so to make it enable we have to use the command pcs cluster enable hyphen hyphen all so this is what you have to do it on all the nodes now i am coming control b and I'm just removing the synchronization that is set WD and uh, synchronize hyphen phase off. So this has been you know off now. If you are typing anything, it is not you know synchronizing to other nodes as well, right? So this has been done now. Um, let me fire this command PCS cluster status. So you can see that all the nodes are running fine and if I am coming to this node
node B and uh, PCS cluster status. So it is showing the same thing. Okay. So control V X yes and I'm here control B O control B X yes and exit. So friends what we have done now we have simply you know create a basic cluster configuration and uh, if I am simple file PCS status you can see that the cluster that is cluster 0 is running fine but I'm getting some warning like no stonic device is created as of now it means that the fencing device is not created although we have only installed the agent we need to configure the fencing agent as well so in case you know if any of the node is not responding because of any number of the reasons we want that this node should be rebooted so how we can do that we need to create a fencing device for that so that's we are going to understand in the next lecture so that's all bye bye take care